So let's talk about some wire strippers. I'm gonna tell you what I like about these three and what I don't like and what are my recommendations about them. Uh, so this is the first one. I've had this one for a long time, been using it for a while and I like it. There's nothing wrong with it, but I decided I'd try some of these two newer ones just to see if I like the spring spring loaded feature. And we're gonna talk more about that as we go in the video. So this is the Irwin Vice Grip one. Um, it has pretty much every feature that you would want in a wire stripper. It's got insulated and non-insulated crimpers of different sizes. It got stripper from 10 solid to um, 22 gauge. Uh, it's also got all kinds of uh, bolt cutting holes right here. A looper. The only downside of this stripper is really that the markings here are only for solid wire. So if you're doing stranded wire, you're going to have to mentally make an adjustment to use one size up. So for example, here's some solid 14 gauge wire. I'm going to go to 14 gauge. That works. And here's some 16 gauge stranded wire. So for this, I have to use the 14 gauge solid notch and that lets me strip 16 gauge stranded so other than that I have no complaints about it um, it's not spring loaded but you can loosen up uh, the hinge bolt just a little bit which is what I did and it opens up real easy but it's not loose it still uh, strips and cuts pretty well here's some 14.2 uh, Romex wire it's got no problem cutting it but I want to try some strippers that were newer and spring loaded just to see how I like it. So I got this Greenlee stripper, it seemed like a pretty popular model. It's stainless steel, I guess that has that going for The lever, the locking lever here is different from what you usually see pictured. This is a newer style which not as convenient because you have to use your thumb to unlock it whereas before you could just use your index finger. But that's okay. That's okay because, as it turns out, I hate this stripper and it has nothing to do with the locking lever, but it has everything to do with the spring. So the idea with the spring is that it's supposed to make your hand less fatigued because uh, the stripper opens by itself. Well, guess what? The spring is too tight and it actually makes my hand more fatigued because you can't relax your hand holding it unless you let it loose completely, let it open. And these handles, I mean, they're pretty thin and they're not very grippy, so it's actually easier to have the stripper slip out of your hand uh, when it's in this um, open position. The other thing is because the spring is too stiff, you don't really feel like, you don't get a good feel of how well you're stripping the wire. For example, you know, in this case it does have the markings for both stranded and solid, so let's do 16 gauge stranded but because of the spring you still have to grip down and push down on the handles as you're holding it whereas with the Irwin you could just let's do the 14 gauge solid so you could just squeeze down on it and that's it I don't have to hold any more pressure and just pull and that's how it works so uh, also because the spring is in the way of the crimper like say you were making a crimp on a wire well now if you can't pull it off sideways then you pretty much have to take the spring off to get the wire off of the crimp so that's another thing that I don't like about this Greenlee strippers and really I mean I do not recommend buying these if you're looking for a stripper that has all these features but much better ergonomics that's where this Milwaukee comes in. So the spring is smaller, it's much easier and smoother. It's not as stiff, so it doesn't fatigue your hand as much when you hold and use the stripper. Also, the handles are thicker, they're more grippy, they're bigger handles actually. If you take a look, they extend a little bit farther uh, towards the pivot. The locking lever also doesn't fall out doesn't 
slide out as much so it's retained and the crimper also has a separate crimper for insulated and non insulated whereas the Greenlee well you pretty much have a one size fits most crimper right here and that's it so let's try this Milwaukee it also has a larger range of gauges so let's do 16 gauge stranded yeah no no problems here so this I bought this for like 10 years ago it was like 13 bucks I think it's a pretty good deal for an all around stripper this Milwaukee is about 20 bucks so if you're looking for a more modernized version of a spring loaded wire stripper this would be my choice right here and the green lead this actually is the most expensive out of all of these it's like 25 bucks and I mean other than being stainless steel that's the only thing it has going for it. otherwise it's inferior to both of these other strippers in pretty much every way so if you're looking to pick up some new wire strippers these would be my top choices that I would recommend and this one I do not recommend.